Recently, I have been having some issues with my Canon R8, and earlier this week I made a video about it, but thankfully one of you had the solution, so, well, that video's not really relevant anymore. So in this video, I'm going to show you the issue that I've been having and how to fix it. So, let's get into it. First off, let's turn on the camera. And for reference, I'm using a V90 card in High Speed Continuous Plus with the electronic shutter. And I'm just gonna show you this issue. So I'm going to take the photos now. And the problem that I've been having is it wants to empty the entire buffer before I can take new photos. So for example, the buffer still says zero, but if I shut off the camera, you can see that it is actively saving those photos, which means I should be able to take new photos. For example, with R7, if I take a bunch of photos and fill up the buffer, it will actively write those to the card and give me my buffer back just one picture at a time. Versus the R8, it really wants to give me back almost all my buffer at once. So let's just empty the buffer again. Okay, it's empty. And now it should have a couple photos written off of it, but it just won't let me take the picture. It still won't, it just says it's busy. So this is the issue I've been having, and it doesn't seem to matter what type of card I use. For example, I am using a V90 Angelbird card, so the fastest you can get. And it still won't let me take any photos. And it doesn't seem to matter if it's in mechanical or electronic, the issue is the same. So this is a little concerning, and it also doesn't seem to be taking full advantage of the card speeds. But I don't have a way to tell. Okay, now it says I got three photos back. Now five, seven, now it's giving me my buffer back but it's far, far slower than if I were to just use the R7. And now it's done. So it really only gives me back my buffer after it's written over probably two thirds of the buffer to the card. It's pretty simple to fix this. Just go into the menu and go to the fifth tab over, then go into lens aberration correction and make sure the digital lens optimizer is turned off. And that's pretty much it. Disabling the setting completely fixes the problem. It appears that with this setting on, the camera was having to calculate a lot more than it needed to. So by disabling it, it massively increases our frame rate. So that's pretty much it. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell to see when the next video comes out. If you want to support the channel, please consider becoming a Patreon supporter or a channel member. And if you want to purchase any of the gear that we use, check out the links below. Well, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.